Hi everyone, how are you doing today? I just wanted to talk more about the Hamsters Aquarium. If you didn't watch any of my other videos before, this is a 40 gallon. I have a 12 inch flying saucer and 12 inch silent, silent spinner. I've got his rainbow bridge and I replaced that with a water bottle, a frozen water bottle just to keep him kind of cool. I'm sitting here monitoring it. There's no way he would um, chew through it but just in case um, I'm monitoring it. I'm in my room like 90% of the day and I just put it in not long ago. Um, I am going to get him a, a ter terracotta pot or whatever because I feel that they're more safer. But if anyone has any other suggestions on that, please let me know. And I gotta clean his flying saucer. He weed in it. Um, but yeah, um, I wanted to talk about future enclosure and I would eventually like to upgrade to a 75 gallon or a larger tank because I feel a 40 gallon isn't big enough and again that's just me talking um, other hamsters might not care but you know, he's a Syrian hamster, he's quite large, and his necessities are pretty big too, so... I have another food dish in there. But, when I wash his dishes, I have to leave that one in the kitchen to dry, because at the bottom there's a little hole and it leaks. And I feel like I should be putting more bedding in, but... I mentioned in another video, um, you know, with this size of enclosure and with two of the wheels in there, it doesn't give them that much room for extra bedding. Um, he's got more behind his log and behind his house, but before I had more bedding in there, before I put the um, flying saucer in, but if I took it out, you know, that wouldn't be fair for him too because he plays on both of them every night, so. But that's why I want to upgrade in the future and when I move, I'm going to get a better, uh, bigger enclosure, but by the time I move, you know, I highly doubt he'll be here. But, um... But yeah, I think that hamster should have at least, me personally, 8 inches or more. Because hamsters, they are burrowing animals and uh, that's something that they naturally do and can't take that away from them. But if I had a 75 gallon or larger, I would probably have at least, no I would have at least 8 inches or more. Um, this isn't really the cage that I wanted to get him. Last year it was my first hamster marshmallows enclosure, um, but marshmallow was in a 20 gallon and you know like that's not even big enough for any hamster. and. It doesn't hold a Syrian sized wheel which, you know, again in my personal opinion, you can't go wrong with a 12 inch wheel, solid wheel. But yeah, in the future when I move, you know, this is going to be completely different. Um, yeah, but you know, again, I can't really complain because it's bigger than a critter trail. It's bigger than a 20 gallon. 
I mean, it's an okay size, and I'm not trying to run the tank down or anything, but... But yeah, anyway, um, I just filled up his food dish after I, I cleaned the dishes. Um, I still didn't get my room tidy. <laughs> it's still kind of messy. Um, but yeah, I, I just watched some videos on YouTube about hamster enclosures and um, I was watching Victoria Rachel she's one of my favorite pet tubers um, I've been watching her for about three years I've been watching Hop and Hammy for more than that probably about four years altogether three and a half four years Aaron's Animals um, Hammy Lux and several other pet tubers and, you know, they inspire me to do better with the hamster. And, uh, as I've said in a previous video, or previous videos, I never knew anything about hamsters before I got my first. And I know I should have done research. I got my first hamster when I was just a few weeks before my 30th birthday three years ago. I didn't even think about getting a hamster as a kid and that probably wouldn't have been a good idea if I did because of the lifestyle situation and, and stuff like that but um I mean like my mom would have helped me take care of it as a kid, but I didn't live with my mom since I was probably 10 years old, and I went to live with my dad, and that household was not a happy household for even, like, an animal, and so that was probably for the best that I kept off getting a hamster until I was in a better place, and I don't really agree with kids having hamsters or really any kind of animal because, well, you know, they need to learn responsibility, but, you know, a lot of parents will say, okay, you can have a hamster if you can provide for it. Like, if you're eight years old, you can't work, you know, I don't really know what the age of working is, but, you know, not eight years old, <laughs> obviously, um, but I mean, like, if you're 12, 13, you know, you can babysit, um, but again, you know, that's still kind of pushing it because babysitting doesn't really give you a lot of money, but, but, you know, you just got to figure out what works for you and what's best for your animal. When I move, I would like to get a bunny or a guinea pig or possibly like a second hamster. I'll always have a hamster, but due to financial reasons, I'm probably going to be staying with my aunt for a couple of more years. I'm not sure, but But yeah, I, uh, I would like to get some more animals, but I don't know if she'll allow it, but at the same time, I'm an adult, I have a monthly income, I keep care of my animals, so, you know, she can't really say no, you know, like if I'm paying rent and, and stuff like that too, I'm actually helping pay for the move, so I mean, I have as much rights as she does, um, but I just want to say that I need help with, um, cleaning this enclosure because I am fairly short and this is higher than it looks and I have trouble 
reaching down at the bottom to clean the bedding and and stuff like that but yeah um, I'm tired of putting everything on hold for everybody else so I mean I've been doing that my whole life and there's no more and you know again I'm an adult I'm gonna be 33 next month and that's part of the reason why I do want to live on my own I wish I was on my own but I don't have all that much money I'm on a disability you know just for personal reasons um, I'm not dying or anything but you know in the future I would like to possibly get paid for my videos later on um, my videos are not that interesting right now but later on they're gonna be better um, but yeah anyways um, I'm gonna go I'm gonna watch some more YouTube videos and uh, clean his we will we we will wheel um, you know what I mean the flying saucer <laughs> But anyways, thank you very much for listening to me ramble on about things, and uh, take care, and goodbye.